Welcome to the ICO Investor Channel, GP Crypto here. And in this video, we're going to cover the engine ecosystem, their tokens, their solution, their products. So make sure to stick around until the end. Also, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified about these time sensitive videos. All right, so first of all, let's talk about what is Engine. So Engine is currently one of the biggest ecosystem in the crypto gaming industry. So as you can see right here, there are trust and backed by a lot of big crypto projects like Blocktopia, but also like traditional companies like Microsoft as well. They have developed their ecosystem fairly quickly and also they were able to uh, collaborate with a lot of big companies. All right, let's take a look quickly about the company itself and what they are about. So Engine was founded actually in 2009. So as you can see, they've been around the block quite a while. OK, and as you can imagine, like developing this ecosystem takes time. But as you can see, they have created about one point two billion dollars in assets and they have twelve point four million of the engine coin locked in assets as well. So they have a docs team, which is definitely something very, very important when you invest or you're looking to invest into this project. As you can see, they're fully doxed and that's something that you should also look out in any project when you're trying to invest. OK, plus, you know, they've been featured in Forbes like TechCrunch, Coindesk. They are one of the biggest, if not the biggest player into the crypto gaming industry okay so let's take a look quickly about the products okay because by being an ecosystem right you need to understand what the products are and the solutions they're bringing to the marketplace okay so let's quickly take a look at the product so number one is the wallet okay so what I truly like about the wallet is that you know they have this native wallet where you can huddle crypto, but also you can have your NFTs from the engine ecosystem in the wallet as well. OK, as you can see, they have the engine wallet 2.0 coming soon, which will have the metaverse capability as well. So as you can see, they are endorsing and they're backing a lot of crypto assets. And that's why I believe it's going to be even bigger in the times to come, right? Because you have to understand that all the gaming industry into the blockchain industry, it's a new wave of technology that is evolving and is evolving rapidly. And engine is playing a massive, massive uh, role. OK, so by having the wallet, the native wallet, it's definitely makes so much easier to collect and trade NFTs and also swap within the engine wallet as well. Right. So they are a pure one stop ecosystem in the gaming industry. All right. Let's take a look at the other product they have. So the other one is Affinity. All right. So Affinity is basically it's their metaverse play. OK, so imagine like engine is more focused on the gaming and affinity is more focused on the metaverse. And the beauty about affinity is that they have smartly launched affinity in the Polkadot ecosystem. Right. Because if you don't know about Polkadot, Polkadot is a blockchain that is interoperable, which means that they can communicate with other uh, blockchain. That communication and that development and those type of bridges are still being worked out, but they are way, way ahead. Right. And their goal with Infinity is to decentralize the metaverse. As you can say, as I said earlier, it's built on Polkadot and Affinity will serve as the infrastructure cross chain metaverse. Right. So they're playing a big role in the future of the interoperable metaverse. OK, so definitely something that you have to take into consideration, especially for the growth of the ecosystem itself. 
All right, so then let's take a look at the platform itself. Right, so the engine platform is a platform, as a one-stop platform for NFTs, gaming, art, music, sports, whatever NFT projects, right? You're wanting to look into the engine ecosystem, they do have it and they can make that a absolute reality because what they're building is definitely unique. And they're basically, their idea is to have the users come into the engine ecosystem and have all their crypto and gaming and NFTs demand satisfied, right? So that's their goal. And as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, they are backed up by the biggest players in the industry. Okay, so also one of the unique features is that once you use their platform, right, and you are a developer, a creator, you can actually create NFTs with a simple visual interface, right? So there won't be any coding required. So imagine that you have an idea, you have zero experience about coding, and you can go on the engine platform and create an NFTs without a code, right? So that's why I truly believe that in the future, the engine ecosystem will appreciate even more than the all recognition they received in, uh, in 2021, okay? So as you can see here, you can create a project, three simple steps, right? Pick name, the image, the description of your new project, link your wallet, and you can actually mint the tokens as well. It's not only NFTs, it's also the token. So very, very cool feature that the ecosystem has for sure. All right, and then we have the marketplace, right? Which is basically where you can trade your NFT, right? You can discover NFTs, trade them, collect them. And uh, if you click on here and explore now, then it will actually bring you to the marketplace. As you can see right here, there's different type of NFTs that you can buy. You will connect your wallet and then uh, to actually buy those NFTs, right? You have to use their native token, which is the engine, the engine token itself, which we'll cover in a second. Again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified about this time sensitive videos and also check the links into the description below. All right, we have some sweet deals coming up. Make sure you check them as well, all right? So what I was saying is that, of course, like the marketplace, they have these cool NFTs where you can explore them. You can do always do your due diligence, though, and uh, you can go ahead and purchase them directly from the marketplace. All right. So let's take a look at the other product, which is the jump net. So this is actually a pretty cool feature. And what they're basically trying to do with the jump net is to instantly and securely transact NFTs and engine coin, pretty much bypassing the Ethereum network, okay? So basically with the engine bridge, you can bring your Ethereum asset to the jump net and you can benefit from a gas-free blockchain experience, right? So that's itself is massive because as we all know, the Ethereum gas fees are ridiculously expensive right and it's something that once it become very congested the gas fees are unbearable and sometimes it's not even worth to buy the nfts because it costs more the gas fee than the actual nft itself right so they have this unique feature that um, i believe that once it will take mainstream and a lot of people will start to understand how valuable is this they it will definitely get more attention and once you get more attention uh, more engine tokens will be removed out of circulation, which uh, in turn will increase the value of the engine token itself, right? So those are all, all the products that are in the engine ecosystem. So of course, when you have a product, you also have the solution, right? Why are they doing this, right? So mainly for individuals, businesses, and developers, right? They're trying to uh, combine all the needs of these three different types of customers per se, 
right? And they're trying to build their ecosystem, right? So for individuals, right? For someone that is an investor, is a collector, you know, they want them to come to, to the engine ecosystem to trade NFTs and buy NFTs and uh, be also part of the games that they actually do have on the platform as well, right? They make it super easy to get your engine wallet and actually when you actually download the engine wallet, they are giving you a free NFT, okay? So uh, that's pretty cool. And then you can also explore the play to earn games that they actually have in the ecosystem as well, right? So they're trying to capture that uh, market share. And then of course for businesses, and by businesses, I mean projects that are trying to get known. They can also, on top of like OpenSea, they can also uh, showcase their NFTs and put their NFTs and their project on the engine marketplace as well. As you can see, there's a lot of projects and a lot of companies that are using the engine marketplace to actually get known and to actually get exposed to more customers, right? That's massive. And also the third solution is uh, for the developers as well. So, and the goal of the engine ecosystem is to make the experience for the developers as easy as possible, right? Because let's be honest, if you don't know how to code, build an NFT project has their own complexity, but they're making super, super simple to actually launch your first NFT project, which is something that it's really cool, right? And also by being interoperable with their affinity product, that makes the entire ecosystem way, way more viable because in the future it can connect to different type of blockchain, right? So that's massive. All right, so let's quickly take a look at the two tokens and also about their tokenomics, which is something that it's really important, okay? So first of all, what is engine token, right? So the engine token is the actual utility token of the ecosystem, right? So if we have to take a look at the tokenomics right here on coin market cap, so the total supply, the max supply is 1 billion and the current market cap is $940 million, okay? If you have to take a look a little bit about the price action, you know, right now we can see that we are on a downtrend like the entire cryptocurrency market, but as you can see, the engine coin is in the top 100 and he had a whole time high back in November of about $4.68, all right? So right now it's down considerably and it's definitely a, this is a long-term play, knowing the ecosystem, knowing the things they're building, but it's definitely something that you can add to your watch list and keep a close eye on, all right? So the other token that part of the ecosystem, right, and that we previously discussed is the affinity token, all right? So the uh, total supply and the max supply of the token is 2 billion, right? Uh, the circulating supply at the moment is 160 million and the market cap is sitting about 62 million dollars okay so and this is something that you need to keep in consideration right it's still kind of as a low market cap coin so the the amount of the multipliers that this coin can make once it gets fully adopted into the ecosystem and also, it will interconnect the ecosystem, the engine ecosystem with the Polkadot ecosystem. That's going to be a massive play for the entire engine ecosystem, okay? So those are the two tokens, right? The engine token, as we said, is the utility token that it's used to trade NFTs, to play games, to buy NFT NFTs as well. And the affinity token, it will be the metaverse token and also the interoperable token that will allow the interoperability of the ecosystem, okay? All right, let's take a look here at the ecosystem here on their website. So engine ecosystem, very, very simple. 
their value proposition is to build the metaverse, right? It's so simple, but so effective. And they are putting out some interesting, interesting products. Okay. So as you can see, they have gaming, right? They have some metaverse project, they have virtual reality and also uh, the NFTs, right? So you can actually play some of these games right now and earn engine token as a reward, right? Because all these games will have some uh, rewards and some of them are free to play, meaning that you can start and play for free. And then you can, uh, as soon as you level up on some games, then you can also earn engine token, right? So as you can see, there is a massive utilities behind those two tokens and the entire ecosystem, right? Because you have to understand that in order for these games to actually run, they will need to operate with the engine token, which in turn will take the engine token out of the circulation and with an appreciating demand and a diminishing supply, of course, the price of the token will appreciate. All right. So let me know in the comment below whether you are bullish or bearish on the engine coin and also on the affinity coin and which one you think is going to reach whole time high faster. All right. Let me know that in the comment below. All right. Let's quickly take a look also at the community and their Twitter account. So this is the engine official Twitter account. They have about 530,000 followers. As you can see, they joined in February 2009. So they've been around the block quite a while, right? So I would highly recommend to follow them on their Twitter so you can also be on top of the future updates and the future news because, you know, you have to also be play the smart game in terms of like understanding the rumors and then if you're a trader oh you know most of the times you see those buy the rumors and sell the news type of price action okay so make sure to follow them on their twitter so they also update the community every time so make sure to to stay on top of the updates that they have okay and also if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified about these time sensitive videos. And also make sure to check all the links in the description below. We have some sweet deals going on. And if you like this content, make sure to share with your family and friends. And don't forget to tell me in the comments below whether you're bullish or bearish on the engine coin. All right. I hope that you like this content and I'll see you in the next.